white cement three or black cement three which shoe are you guys choosing i personally love both and i'm excited to see what the poll results are from everybody else so make sure you guys stick around to the end for that but for now we need to go ahead and get into the studio and start breaking down all the styles cuts materials and differences between these two shoes first we need to go through the unboxing process showing you guys the difference between the reimagined and the current 2024 retro that is not the reimagined series so as you can see from the lid of these two boxes very similar right here you're gonna have your red jump man on the top with the black lid but on the reimagined version it's gonna be more distressed similar to your lost and found air jordan ones and then on the front and the back of these two lids on the side panels you're gonna see that nike air branding here in red now looking at the bottom half of these two boxes honestly pretty similar when it comes to the elephant print but again you're gonna have that distressed white look on the edges all throughout the bottom half of the reimagined and for the reimagined three on the size tag it reads air jordan 3 retro summit white fire red black size 13 just for me and on the 2024 retro it says air jordan 3 retro black fire red cement gray and size 13 just for me now when it comes to the reimagined threes the retail price was 210 dollars and when it comes to the black cement air jordan threes the retail price on these was 220 dollars the reimagined threes released early in 2023 so that was about a year and a half ago and this is current time 2024 so there's been a 10 dollar increase in retail price just in the past year essentially now taking off the lid of the box when it comes to the reimagined threes you're gonna have this little booklet right here and it says jordan and it's also going to be distressed around the edges and then you're going to have your information on the sneaker giving you insight about the upper the sock liner the heel aerosol unit the forefoot aerosol unit the foot frame midsole and the outsole now this isn't a retro card but honestly i'm not mad at it and i'll take what i can get now when it comes to the paper you're going to have an all over elephant print on that and then you got the shoe oh you got the shoe now when it comes to the black cement three as you're lifting the lid off right here you're going to see you got the same red on the inside on the back end and then you're going to also have this same little card again not a retro card more of an information card but it doesn't have that distressed look to it just more of a nice simple clean look now this also has the all over elephant print paper and then you have additional set of white paper and then you got the shoe oh you got the shoe oh yeah and if you didn't know by now my name is dj and this is the dna show hey! And before we get to breaking down all the cuts and materials, we got to talk about the history first. Back in 1988, we saw the Air Jordan 3 release in four original colorways. You had the True Blue 3s, you had the Fire Red 3s, you had the White Cement 3s, and the Black Cement 3s. Over the past 30 plus years, those four colorways have always been idolized. But when everybody talks about their favorite from the OG set, the debate is always between these two right here. The Black Cement 3 was originally debuted when Michael Jordan wore them in the All-Star Game, which then later on became a trend as we saw him debut the Black Cement 4 fours in his all-star game as well but also to go along with that debut he wore the white cement threes dunking from the free throw line so you have two valid iconic moments simply happening in the same exact weekend and it's always hard to decide which colorway is better we've seen the air jordan 3 release in so many different colorways feels like a hundred colorways at this point but at the end of the day it's always so hard to beat these two colorways which causes the value to always go up on past releases and even in current releases no matter what the state of the market is yes you might say both of these shoes went for a little Little bit over retail or there was somewhat of an easy cop depending on the size but at the end of the day both of these shoes were high demand and coveted from a lot of people and if you wear a bigger size they're pretty hard to find so now that you guys know a little bit more about the shoes let's go over all the details because i'm telling you right now these things look the same but once you really start looking at them they are way different looking at the outsoles right here you can see you have your classic air jordan 3 bottom with the nike branding because what you got the nike air on the heel tab as well and then you have your three hits of color with your gray your red and your white now when it comes to the real imagine three the gray is going to be a little bit more faint and not as dark and then also your white area is going to be more of a cell color giving you like a vintage vibe now wrapping up to the midsoles you can see right here very similar as well when it comes to the color blocking this is standard to their og look but there's definitely going to be a huge difference when it comes to the actual color these both have white exposed air units on the back ends around the heel and when you put these two shoes side by side just looking at the rubber on the outsole it does look very similar besides the color but i feel like the black cement three just has a little little bit more bulk to it when it comes to the front end of the shoe one huge gripe that a lot of people were talking about recently over the past year and a half or two has been the elephant print on the reimagines how they hated it how they didn't do good all these different things and then you have the elephant print here 
how again, they hate it, they didn't do good, but then you have another side of the audience saying, they did a great job, I love how they got it so similar to the OG. I wish the shade and the color would have been a little bit darker, but overall, both of these two shoes are a lot nicer than the previous retros like the 2018 or pairs from the CDP or you name it. I'm personally siding with the OG saying that honestly, I feel like they did a really good job when it comes to the elephant print on these two shoes. Again, you're gonna have quality control, yada yada, whoop de whoop. But at the end of the day, you can't make the same exact product as you could from 1988 with the same exact materials. There's a lot of restrictions or requirements that the brand has now when it comes to actually producing the sneaker that they can't do like they used to do in the past so just for some of those reasons right there it can cause a slight difference between the shoe no matter how hard the brand works to try to give you that same exact iteration from 1988 and I say all that because sometimes people don't consider that part on what the brand's goal was on trying to recreate that original version because everybody wanted the original and now everybody doesn't want the original they prefer the comparison to the cheaper more terrible versions that came out from the past but again like what you like buy what you like I like them all enough to buy them all or maybe I just have a problem so now that you guys seen the elephant print side by side which one do you guys prefer more and the cuts they're just a little bit different on the cut but overall very similar and then the actual print is gonna be a little bit different let me know what you guys prefer down below now when it comes to the mud guard and the material on the upper you're gonna have essentially kind of like three different I say materials or styles of material you have more of a smoother mud guard and you have like a slightly kind of tumbled more soft leather here on the upper and that's gonna be the same thing here on the white cement but I feel like when you look at the black cement compared to the white cement you can see a more distinct difference between the mud guard area and the upper and when you look at the black cement three it's kind of similar on both parts of the materials when you look at it you know just with these two materials side by side compared to these two materials side by side let me know if you guys see what I'm talking about hey real quick just wanted to let you guys know we got a ton of deals and sales going on for the holidays so hit the links down below at shopdnashow.com. I'll have that pinned in the comment section as well. You'll see some of the product links for some of the merch as well on here. So make sure you guys check that out. Things have been flying ever since we started the birthday sales. Once some of these products sell out, I will no longer be making them again because we got some new designs for 2025. So stay tuned for that. Now let's get back into the video. Now when it comes to that third kind of texture or material that I'm talking about on these two shoes, that's actually going to be that perforated leather that you see on the tongue, around the ice to area, and the back end around the collar when I look at these two shoes side by side and I put the tongues next to each other I see honestly pretty similar when it comes to the perforation the spacing and everything like that and then obviously the clear difference the color and the leather now before we get too deep into the back end and the collar and the heel of the shoe we got to talk about the toe box because this is something that a ton of sneakerheads talk about all the time and the shape of the toe box how well did they do is it boxy is it a uh, wonky kind of like you know unbalanced some people say that their pair is kind of turned a little bit and, it, and it's just cut too low and all these different things Here's an image of an OG pair next to the 2024 retro. I saw this online and I was like, this is a great example to show you guys what I'm talking about. This pair on the 2024 black cement, they look like it's kind of off or what's going on. That's because Jordan Brand did a really good job of giving us that OG look. Even when it comes to the cut and the back end around the heel and everything like that. But just again, take note of the toe box and how it looks on that shape compared to the previous OG. Now again, the white cement three, if you look at just the overall, you know, kind of profile shots of these two shoes, I personally prefer the look of this white cement three. And I think out of all the Air Jordan 3 retros that have come out with this new 88 cut or whatever you want to call it, I think the white cement three is still the most superior one all around, checks all the boxes. In my personal opinion, whether or not it does look similar to the OG or not, I think just the overall just shape and the composition and the proportion, especially with me being a size 13 and it being a white shoe and not looking too out of whack, I think they did a really good job on this shoe. And one thing that really stood out to me that I noticed immediately when I saw these black cement threes is the tongue. Now they say that the tongue is a lot more similar to the original, so I can't complain about that. But one thing that I can say is, if you look at the tongue on the white cement three, a lot larger, it just looks a lot better. I think the proportion of it, when I wear it on foot, trust me, I've been wearing this shoe you a ton I have multiple pairs of these just like I have multiple pairs of the black cements but I just like the way the tongue sits on the white cement three the shorter tongue I'm interested to see 
But again, I think it'll look fine at the end of the day. But this is definitely something that I wanted to point out so you guys can see the difference between the tongue height and kind of how it's going to sit with your outfits. And even from this angle right here, you guys can see clearly the top of the tongue here and not really anything there. But on the back end of the tongue, you're going to have that red here with that same felt material and then the same here, red right there on the back end of those tongues, which are size tag on both of these right here. Now on the black cement, you're going to have the gray collar. On the white cement, you're going to have the white collar. And then on the sock liners here, you're going to have the all red sock liner with the black Nike Air on both of the shoes because what? You got the Nike Air on the back and you got the Nike Air on the bottoms. Now when it comes to the insole on these two shoes, it's going to be another big difference. You have a Dream Cell insole, which is kind of like a uh, top medium tier, you know what I'm saying? It's solid, it's cool, but it's not as good as the polyurethane. Now when you look at the white cement three, you have that here on these, which is gonna give you more comfort, it's gonna last longer, it's just gonna overall be a better fit. Now I talk about this on the channel all the time, but I say that OG colorways, like the original OG colorways, whenever they retro, we should at least bare minimum get the polyurethane insoles. Now, maybe I don't know, correct me if I'm wrong, if the Dream Cell is the new wave and that's actually better than the PU, let me know down below in the comment section. Maybe I'm tripping. But either way, I'm glad we don't get those cheap blue insoles that you guys typically used to see from the past. Now these also come standard with a pair of matching laces with the uppers and no additional laces to go with the shoes. And then you got the Nike Air hang tags right here, giving you that OG vibe. A lot of people love it, a lot of people hate it. I know people always complain about, they wish they had the little metal bead ones, that way you could take it off and take it on or put it on a keychain and they prefer the older Jordan ones that were thicker and the harder plastic so that way they could also put it on the keychain and everything like that. So again, some people love it, some people hate it. I'm not mad at it. I'm glad that they're giving us similar to the OG so I can't complain. So now looking at the back tabs, honestly, looks very similar. But when you put the shoes really close to each other and literally dissect them, you can see the elephant print difference, the cut of the elephant print, the height of the heel. You see all those little differences between the two shoes? Let me know which one you guys prefer. You like more of this lower cut? Do you like this slightly higher cut on the white cement? I would love to hear what you guys think down below in the comment section. At the end of the day, one thing that I do love about both of these shoes when it comes to the collar of the shoes, looks a lot more like the OG. Compared to them 2018 retros, they look like SBs or something, bro. It was like a V shape and it was like all puffy and it just looked weird and the shoe looked pancaked. Like, I just, I don't know, bro. But don't get me wrong. I still got multiple pairs and I did wear those a lot. <laughs> so now when it comes down to me deciding which pair of shoes do I like the most, honestly, I'm still having a hard time. So I posted a poll on my Instagram story to see what everybody else thinks. And if you haven't already, make sure you follow me on IG so you can participate in the polls in the future. This is what they said. We have a 50-50 tie. This is insane. And honestly, these are results that I've heard over all the years. When I talk to people about them, they say you can't make the debate. You can't pick one, you can't pick the other. It's just, let me have both type situation. And honestly, I'm kind of in that same window. I can understand why I love both, but I feel like the Black Cement 3 in particular, I have worn more times than the White Cement 3. I had all the different retros of both iterations, whether it was the White or the Black Cement 3. So for me, I have had definitely put some miles in on both shoes, but I think the Black Cement in particular for me is the one that I'm gonna rock with. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. If you guys wanna see any other comparisons or reviews, I would love to see you guys in the future. So make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. I have a fully curated playlist as well for you guys to check out and I have more videos at the end of this one. All right, you guys, I'm out. I would never let you down and send my DNA. Hey, hey, the only choice I like to make what I'm aware today. I would never let you down and send my DNA. The only choice I like.